Oh my goodness, I'm so crooked. Hey guys, <laughs> welcome back. Tracy with Scrappy's Rustics. Y'all, the book face is acting a fool. There, are we kind of crooked? A restrator. Um, hey Kelly, <laughs> nice seeing you. Fancy seeing you here. Thanks for joining me over here, y'all. I'm sorry, there's nothing I can do about it, but I don't want to waste anybody's time. It's hard enough going live and then people taking the time to join you and then it's a crapshoot. Like, I can't stand that. Am I backwards? I, oh, I think I'm backwards to you. I don't know. I look, I feel like I'm off. <laughs> Anyways, we're going to use some milk paint and I'm going to put some black on here while people wait because I mean, people jump on because, uh, you know, that's not anything they don't know how to do. Let me hit the live chat and see if that's working. So there we go. Shoop, 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 shoop. Body. Sorry guys. I don't want to fart around with, uh, you know, blurry and I can't hear you and it's cutting off and I just, I can't stand that. It's just... Facebook is driving me to drink, y'all. <laughs> there I am. <laughs> oh, good gravy. They're working my nerve. They really piss me off anyways because, ooh, I need to wipe this down, I think. Because I'm telling you, like, they can recommend you. They say it's your thumbnail, it's this, it's that. Y'all, I do all the things. Every time I'm off a of video, I do all the things I'm supposed to do. I take the time to do it. There's a lot of creators that don't even know it exists. Because I can guarantee you anything I've ever done, if you searched for it, my video will pop up. When people don't use um, Facebook as a search engine, they just don't. Um, but it will show up. You know, and they say, oh, that's what will put you out there. Bullshit. It's all bullshit. <laughs> Melba, Sue, Johnson, Kelly, Judy, Tracy, thank you, Kim. Thanks for, uh, thanks for joining me. I'm just giving this a little bath because been sitting here a minute. I don't know what I'm gonna do. I don't think I'm gonna do the inside with you all because we got a lot of the ground to cover here. <laughs> we'll see. We'll see how it goes. Yeah, that was dirty, y'all. Oh, that was dirty. You made it. Yes, I feel like it looked dark. Uh, yes, welcome aboard. If you guys are new and you don't know where anything is, um, just ask. We're all learning together, so there's no dumb question. I promise you. Every, there's plenty of people here that will help you that were just in your shoes yesterday or the day before. So, uh, there we go. There's the pink poop crew. Yes. Crappy, 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 <laughs> crazy. Oh my goodness. Hello, Jude. <laughs> How are you? Good Lord. Thanks for being here. I just really screwed your name up. Um, yeah, so there's that. And if you're watching and you can't comment, you probably because you don't have an account. I believe you have to have some type of Gmail or G Google account. So you have to have an, an email, Gmail and a password. It's free. You did all the requirements. Yes. If you could give me a thumbs up, and share it wherever you can. Bookface would be great. <laughs> that would be wonderful. Um, I would appreciate that because I'm a lone soldier over yonder here. All right. Um, all right. I'm just going to put some slabs of... Hey, Pat. I'm going to put some slaps of black here and there because I would like, if possible, it might be a waste of time. I don't know. Um, hey, Terry. Um, I'd like that black to come through as well. You can see they, they must have put a layer of black under here because they sanded it. Now, see how... Well, it's a little wet right there. This is going to be iffy because some part will oh, look shiny because it's wet. Um, so they did sand this, some of this. Um, thank you, Beth. Um, but it does have some shine to it. So a lot of this could peel off. It, it could. This one, I, I didn't, I kind of scuff sanded it. This was one of those ones from Marshall's or TJ Maxx. Like you put your, I don't know, your forks in and stuff and see how much, I mean, there's still stuff coming off today, but the wax kind of keeps it on there. But I like that look. But if you're going to handle this a lot, then that's not good because it'll come off. But yeah, I just scuffed sand in that one. And that had like a total sheen on it. Um, <laughs> thank you. Uh, yeah. All right. So I'm going to slap some black on here. Oh, my caddy's back. <laughs> like, where am I? Where's my paintbrushes? I got it backwards. Silly girl. All right. And I'm just using the black chalk paint. I had the. I had the, um, the wise owl out, but I don't feel that like that covers as quickly and as good as well, for whatever reason, this black chalk paint just, just covers well. Hello again, Gwendolyn. Thanks for joining. I missed you. I missed you. Y'all, I'm sad about the auction, but I, I do feel like it was meant for a reason because I'm really... I'm usually never behind and I'm behind. I mean, I'm catching up now. This, this, this shed has never looked so crazy. Like it's so crazy. There's nothing I can do about it. So I just have to let it go. But sometimes that's hard. 
sometimes that's hard and uh, sometimes that interferes with my, uh, I don't know, like if my space is kind of messy, it messes with my head. Does that make sense? Do you have uh, Mr. Z's address? <laughs> he needs a big boob. I don't. I wish I did. I wish I did. Mark, he's in Tahiti somewhere, sucking on Mai Tais and who knows what else. All right, I'm just going to like kind of do that. Looks like a cow. Oh, just kind of do that here and there. There's already some black. Wow, when I wiped this, it really took, you know what? Hold on. Maybe that's why it was dirty. It's not really dirty. I'm just taking it off. This is like a wax. Or was it always like this? I don't know. Might have been like this, and I never really looked at this side. I feel like it's coming off more, but it's not really coming off. Okay, never mind. <laughs> it's like that. You made it, uh, Melinda. It rained here most of the... Yeah, here... Well, not most of the day. It didn't start until right before the auction. I was like, ah, oh, here we go. Here we go. Like I said, uh, I think it was a blessing in, dis in disguise for myself because it just would have put me back. And tomorrow I'm going to be gone most of the day because we have to go to... We gotta go to the city, y'all. Oh, we gotta go to the city. Oh, that's so funny. That cracks me up. See, I'm a country girl now. You want to go to the city? It takes it takes an hour to get there. Uh, yeah, so we gotta go to the city. Yep, big city, big scary city. Uh, first time on YouTube, Stacy. You did it. Oh, hey, Sonia. I appreciate that. You need anything, Stacy? You don't know where anything is? Just ask. We are all learning here. There's no stupid question. None of us know what we're doing. Uh, if you could find the pink poop emoji, then you're going to be part of the family. <laughs> pink poop emoji crew. Um, there's no negative emojis over here, which is fantastic. I don't think there should be negative emojis anywhere because you're just asking for trouble. Um, so there's that. <laughs> so there's that. Trisha, Carrie. Uh, much better, Jake. Oh, good. Y'all, I don't know what to do. Like... I don't want to give up on Facebook, but it's almost like, look, I'm trying to be random and look, I'm not random. I'm going in like, there you go. You guys do. <laughs> look at them pink poops. <laughs> I love it. Um, I, I just, I don't know. I don't know what to do. I really don't know what to do. I mean, it's just, it's so disheartening. I don't know. I don't know. They push the bonuses, but they, you know, they don't want to pay you for them. They want us to become a, a family, but they don't want you to do all these things. <laughs> Pat Pat wants to know where's the pink poop, poop emoji. I think if you hit the emojis, the smiley face, um, it shows up there. Shoop's got it going on today. I need to do the top of this. Man, there's fuzz stuck in there. This one I want to do. Yo, I, am, I cannot be random. It's so hard. Hey, Beth. Oh, Beth's got a swinging dancer there. Oh, swinging dancer. Hit the, I, yeah, I think hit the, um, the emojis, the smiley face, I mean, or the three dots and then the smiley face, something like that. I'm not very good at explaining. Yeah, I don't think I'm going to do the inside with you guys. It looks like I'm doing a cow print. I'm, no, I'm not, that's not the look I'm going for at all. I'm just, I'm hoping some of this, this might be a waste of time. I'm hoping some of this comes through our chip, our chippy, our crackle, our chippy. Now, if you want, if it's super porous, like, uh, grass paint, I was going to say. That's not grass paint. Um, what is this stuff? Milk paint. <laughs> Milk paint is meant for porous surfaces, like concrete, uh, raw wood, uh, anything like that. And that's what it does best on. And when it dries, it dries it's hard as a rock. Like, you could leave it outside. You don't even need to. Um, uh, smiley face in the chat bar. Thank you, Shoop. Um, I do have to do the top of this. Um, but if if you want to do cement or raw wood, just put some Vaseline or wax. Put some kind of resist on your piece before you um, before you put your milk paint on, and that that will help it ship. If it's shiny, shiny, scuff it, or add the extra bond to it because. Milk paint doesn't have a bonding agent in it, so it's not going to take to anything. It's just not. And the shinier it is, uh, the more it's going to fall off. Yeah, so much for be <laughs> being random. I'm trying. I'm trying. Okay, stop. Stop. Just stop. Backa, backa. Backa, backa. 
Go back. Yeah, y'all, I should be I should be cleaning up this craft room, but you know what? I don't care. Because I need to make some changes in my life. Because that's why I'm I had the big sale. If you didn't know, Jason, thank you so much for the stars. You're sweet. Thank you. You found it. Yes, now you can. Yes, Pat, Pat. Welcome to the Pink Poop Crew. <laughs> welcome. You wear that emoji proudly. Um, wear it? No, don't wear it. Pop it up there. So I had the big sale because um, it's like Catch-22. So the website is my income. However, packing packages is my biggest time consumer. Uh, can you see? I can see your comments. BHP. Uh, I can see you. I can see you. <laughs> you're in, Pat. You're in. Uh, so much better. Yes. Um, so that's what, one of the reasons I've been, it's been on my mind for a long time, but I, w I wasn't sure how to go about it because certain things I can pack zippity quick. Other stuff, not so much. So I think just by doing some stuff like that, I'm going to make things better. Uh, keep closing on you. Oh, that's weird. Hey, Desiree. Um, uh, that's, I haven't heard that one yet, Tracy. <laughs> I don't know why I'll be doing that. Maybe reboot your phone. I don't know. I don't know. I know some people have like weird settings, like they can all of a sudden, they can watch YouTube and comment and then all of a sudden they can't because something in their settings. I don't know. I don't know. Facebook or YouTube is, uh, is fantastic, but it's definitely a little more complicated, like on all aspects, even just going live. You got to like put in a bunch of information and you can't just hit the button and go, um, oh, look at all those pink. Yes. See, that's what I like to see. <laughs> I love that. Uh, just the little things in life, y'all. Oh, it's the little things. Um, so yeah, because I want, I want time to do more of the stuff I love. Like I love the auctions. I love thrifting. I love picking. Now I realize an auction and packing that stuff is a time sucker. But that's okay. I'm okay with that one. <laughs> I'm okay with that one. It's the everyday. It's the everyday stuff. Just time for a little change. That's all. Like I got two classes I paid for. I haven't even been able to sit down and even. I logged into them. Maybe only ship twice a month. Oh my goodness. I, Christine, the problem with that um, is I get too far behind. And I, t I really take pride in my fast shipping because it's the one thing I can control um, as a thank you uh, for taking the time to support my small business, if that makes any sense. Because I know when I order something and I see like, wow, it's been shipped already? I'm like, all right. And then other times it's like, when are they going to ship it? You know what I mean? Um, it's just me. So I can make it work. I, I mean, I've made it this far. Uh, next month will be two years with the website and not having a clue what the heck I'm doing. <laughs> like literally not a clue. Uh, so I'll figure it out. I really think this, this is going to actually help a lot. So if you're not aware on um, scrappiesrustics.com, um, BHP, who is that? Who are you? <laughs> having so much fun over here on YouTube. <laughs> Um, scrappiesrustics.com under um, in the category there's going going gone and stuff is 30 to 75 percent marked off and it won't be restocked and once it's gone it's gone um, so and I, I did clean it up so anything that's already been sold out I got rid of it so there's no garbage in there I mean in the last couple of hours uh, oh it's Beth uh have you looked into ship station? I don't know what ship station is. I don't know what that is. I don't know what that is. I have a hard time letting stuff sit in the queue. Uh, Connie King. Woo, Connie King's in the house, y'all. All right, there's our cow. <laughs> there's our cow. <laughs> this looks terrible. I managed to make it worse. <laughs> uh, we're on a cruise now, yes. Gross. All right, we're using Sweet Pickens Milk Paint. I do have an affiliate link with them if you're interested. And they do sell, like I said, just the little two-ounce bags, so you don't have to commit to a big honking bunch. Um, I got Flower Sack or Creamy. I think I'm going to go with Flower Sack. It's the whiter of the white, and if it becomes that where it's too white, I can always grunge it up with something. Uh, I can grunge it up with something. And I kind of need to make a lot, so I usually mix it in this. Uh, you only want to mix what you're going to use because it goes rank. It has like nothing in it chemical wise to, um, to preserve it. So you need to use what you're going to make. You can probably put it in the freezer. 
not the freezer, refrigerator for like 24 hours, but it's probably going to get thick and gelatinized and um, you might have to water it down a little, but after that you probably can't use it. Uh, it just, it just goes rank. You do ship fast, especially a uh, package really good. So uh, I have like package phobia um, because for the long, longest time I was just putting them in those poly bags and um, I'm going to mix in here. I think it's kind of deep, but um, I was putting in those poly bags and this one lady, she got a pretty big order. And the one thing I was so excited for her to get, she emails me or messaged me, the bag ripped and it fell out. And I'm like, what? Like, how did it fall out? Like, I don't even understand. And the other reason I, I pack, like use a lot of tape and all is the tighter the package, number one, if your stuff doesn't shift around, that's the number one trick for things not breaking, you know, unless somebody runs it over the truck, which has happened, but the tighter it is, the less chance of damage and shipping is cheaper. Like the, the tighter it is, the smaller it is, the, the cheaper the shipping and to a certain extent. Uh, I'm trying to hear me. So, uh, oh, I haven't opened it yet. I'm frozen. I'm frozen? On YouTube? Are you kidding me? Uh, Kim, I really, I hate to say that, but I hope it's just you. <laughs> am, I, am I frozen for anyone else? Besides Kim. Yeah, it takes you longer to open it. But you should see how some of my packages arrive. Oh my God. I'm like, oh, I'm glad. It, I'm okay. Probably just Kim then. I wish I, I don't have like anything in the middle here. Uh, I guess I'll just do it. Where's my glass cup? I'm going to do it in here. I'm going to do it in here. Now you want warm water. You don't want hot water. Okay, so it's it must be just Kim's uh, Kim's problem. <laughs> Thank you guys. Um, you don't want cold water because it, it just won't mix. It won't. Uh, you don't want super hot water because it turns into like sludge. So you want warm water. Now I bought this thing to make a big batch of it, and I haven't used it yet. You know, one of those things. Look at that thing. <laughs> haven't used it yet. That's to make a big old batch, and you don't have to like because you really gotta stir this crap like. Uh, no, just Kim. Oh, Kim figured it out. <laughs> Kim figured it out. Yeah, what the heck is that? Oh, Sonia. Oh, all right. Um, you're supposed to do 50 50 water and um, half water, half you know, whatever this is. No paint. I'm gonna make almost two, but I just kind of mix it. Hopefully, this isn't like a whole uh salt wash thing. You can never get my milk paint to mix correctly it always ends up water watery mess just stop well do you use warm water i keep it in the yeti because i don't know how long it's going to take me to to get to it it's, i keep seeing kim's i think kim's like stuck in a in a loop a vortex loop i keep seeing frozen anyone else never mind i figured it out frozen anyone else never mind i figured it out so you need to mix yes you need to mix the milk yep it comes it comes in a powder form and um, they do have other brands, like they have ones that they're, they're milk paint, but they do have the additive in it. Um, you're seeing the same thing. Um, this one I like the best. I like that chippy look. If you want perfect, this is definitely not the paint for you. But look how many colors they have. So I bought the, because I, I, I'm an affiliate for it, but I bought every, I have every single color in this two ounce bag. But they sell like, you can get like a four pack of colors you want to pick. Any colors you want to pick, you can try. They've got oils and waxes and all that kind of stuff. They got the top, they call it top goat. It's a matte finish to put over the milk paint, or you can use wax. And then they have the extra bond. If it's a super shiny surface and you don't want it to chip, you add the extra bond. I do use warm water. I don't know why I stuff. Oh, that's interesting. So I'm gonna the milk paint came in a milk jug. Yeah, so Folk Art had the um already mixed. Some are some does, some do come already mixed. Um all right, I'm just going to start with, I put almost two in there, but I'm going to start with one and mix that up and see what happens. Um, you can use a, whatever you want. Actually, this is kind of big for that. So I'm going to get a, a popsicle stick, a popsicle stick. What happened to the milk paint that came in the milk jug? Uh, Folk Art stopped, um, they stopped, they stopped making it. I am live, Debbie. I am. Kim's getting out and back in. She's having some inter that poor thing, she's stuck in some vortex loop. Are you frozen? Never mind. Are you frozen? Never mind. I can imagine what I look like on her screen. Yeah, so I don't, I feel like, um, 
different colors have different pigments so i feel like they're gonna they do react differently to how much water you add you know like a red or a black especially a red reds are usually highly pigmented so i feel like it's gonna react differently as far as how much water um no sandy we got we had thunderstorms come through i tried to postpone it till 7 30 because it looked like it was gonna pass but um it's this time of year that the storms just pop up out of nowhere uh because the environment's so stable but yeah it, it, we probably could have got 20 or 40 minutes into the auction and then it, we would have been rained out so i just canceled it like that's too thick but you could use it this thick if you want it depends what you're doing but i'm going to go a little bit thinner but you only want to add a little bit at a time i once used really hot water um y'all it turned it like gelatinized uh it was the weirdest thing it, it was a mess because <laughs> i was live and it, it it wasn't good i mean i have like a little little in there i don't even know if you can see let's see if you can see yeah that was like drops just and powder water and powder you can mix these together you can make your own colors um whatever you fancy whatever you fancy but only mix what you're going to use a couple more drops because it will go rank do it tomorrow do it tomorrow evening what am i doing tomorrow evening oh the auction we got to go to gainesville tomorrow we got to go to the city we got to go to the city we got to go to the city what happened i lost you all for a really long time I don't know if you could hear me or not. It's sweet paint, Stacy. Yeah, I was stuck. I, I went, I reconnected. I totally reconnected. All right, I'm gonna go a little bit more. I'm back. Ugh. Now I froze for sure, for sure. I was gone a long time. Can you guys hear me or it just stops? Am I probably like, have one of these stupid faces? <laughs> oh, I can't even imagine. Yeah, I froze. I certainly did. The damn vortex is, yeah, it's sucking us all up. Thanks a lot, Kim. Kim spread her, her, her stuff on us. <laughs> uh, can you get fiber connection? Yes, uh, uh, right? I know. I don't know if you heard me. Um, they got huge rolls of fiber in town. Like the whole field's filled with fiber. You can't hear when you're frozen. Okay, good. Because I said some un, not so nice words. All right, that's good. We're going to go with that. It's creamy. It's creamy stick but it's creamy i can hear you and you're not frozen oh okay good oh, i didn't know if you could hear me when i was frozen because i was saying dirty words dirty words all right and i like to keep my uh thing in there because it does kind of get uh it gets thicker as as you go y'all look at these spindles this one i love 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 i might have one more of these but this one fits right in the handle this one fits too but it's not as delicious as this one let me tell you, I start, yeah, I can't even cut my spindles I have for you guys. Uh, what do you use with milk paint? Cookie molds? <laughs> Jason, that's a good one. <laughs> uh, you could, yeah. You could use cookie molds. Jason's on fire tonight, y'all. Um, all right, uh, what kind of brush we want? What kind of brush we want? What kind of brush we want? We want, we want something that holds some, holds some stuff. Let's go with, I would like something thick. Oh, I left all my brushes over there. Uh, I think this one, I'm gonna I'm gonna start out with this one and see how it goes y'all this stuff dries so hard in your glass that it will like you have to scrape it off your glass it's crazy you'd think it would chip off the glass but it doesn't all right so that's a consistency we're going with it's pretty thick but it's still still runny <laughs> still runny um I'm gonna start here yo oh, a basting brush yeah I need a basting brush <laughs> That's what this looks like doesn't it all right usually you can get away with one coat uh it's pretty good coverage it's kind of like um you know when you're putting your glue you're trying to get the crackle effect and you put your glue down and whatnot or chippy um the thicker and the thinner in areas uh will definitely uh be where your chips and Cracks will be thicker or thinner. Uh, Jason, the cookies need some grapes turned into raisins. Oh my goodness. Uh, yeah, it goes on nice and smooth. It does. It, it's kind of, it's kind of gluey, a little bit gluey, if that makes any sense. <laughs> a little gluey. 
Um, now I don't have anything on this. If it was super porous, I would put wax randomly because I want it to chip. Um, but I didn't do that because it does have some shiny spots. So I think it's going to be a good mix of both. Can you store extra paint? You can store extra paint, but no more than 24 hours. And when you take it out, it will be like thick. So you might have to add some water into it and give it a good stir. Um, because it has no, it has no additives in it. It's like all natural stuff with no bonding agent and no additives. So it just goes rank. It just, just go, spoils the milk. <laughs> it's not really milk in it, but it, it spoils it. Now that's pretty good coverage. I don't know where this black paint keeps coming from. But not bad coverage. And I'm going to leave it like that because we're going to want it to, um, be uneven and all that. Normally, if you stencil, it would be thicker. Wait. Normally, if you stencil, it would be a lot thicker for it to crack the print. Not catching what you're throwing, Jude. Um, uh, Beth, I do not. I have an affiliate. I have an affiliate link. I'm an affiliate. And, oh, this kind of self-levels, too, which is, I don't know if you can see, but maybe look now. See how many paint strokes I have? And where I started, it's already starting to kind of level itself. Out. Well, it's hard to tell in the. It does kind of self level itself. It kind of self levels itself. Look at my cow. <laughs> so ugly. I hope I have enough paint. We'll see. We'll see. And I don't care if it's thick in some places. And you'll start to see, like, especially as you get to the bottom of your cup, you'll start to see. Um, if you, <laughs> Jody, how are you, my friend? You froze while telling us about, oh, you're going to help ease the, oh, oh, I don't know what I was saying. Uh, yes, Jason. Um, as you get to the bottom, you'll start to get little chunks where you didn't really mix it too good, but you thought you did. Just go with it. They'll sand right off um, and just add to the character. Like, just, just leave them in there. They're kind of like boogies, but they're just, it's just milk paint that's not mixed up. Yeah, I'm just trying to make some changes on my website side so I, I can do, I can have more time to do the things that I want to do that make me happy, like create, <laughs> like create, uh, stencil being on the bottom needs that thicker layer over it, but you prefer, I just don't understand what you're, I, what stencil, what am I missing with a stencil, uh, like an old barn door, I'm not, it's going over my head, but that's not a normal when I'm live because my, my brain does not fire on all cylinders when I'm live. Why that is, I have no idea, but it's definitely a real thing. It's definitely a real thing. And as soon as I hit the stop and we're done, I'll go, oh, oh, <laughs> yeah, oh, that's what she meant. Duh. Anywho, I don't know. If you guys are just hopping on and you can see me and all that, but you can't comment, it's probably because you don't have an account. Um, so you need an email address and you need a password and uh, then you'll be able to comment, but you don't have to do that. You could just watch <laughs> whatever you fancy. I don't know if you can tell it's kind of self leveling out in a way. I know, it, I know you can only see the dark marks through the, you can only see the dark marks in the camera. I hope we have enough. I'm not gonna do the bottom or the inside uh, while we're live. That was my input stencil. Sorry, guys. Okay. Yeah, yeah. I don't know. I I don't know. Is Kim back? Kim make it back out of her vortex, or she's still having internet issues? Having internet issues. I can't wait to get fiber, y'all. It's gonna be cheaper than Starlink too, which is great. I think it's like 99 bucks a month. 99 bucks a month. Uh, what's the brand of the milk paint? Going to find the link. It is uh, milk, uh, <laughs> sweet pickings, sweet pickings. So if you go to scrappiesrustics.com, in the menu area, you'll see a thing that says affiliates. And depending on what device you're on, hover over it or whatever. And it's sweet pickings. Sweet pickings milk paint. They have a good, they have a good website. I don't know if I have a discount. If I have a discount code, it'll be next to it. I don't know if I, uh-oh. We got a big, we got a big, uh, big hair, <laughs> big old hair. Um, I don't, 
It'll be next to it if I have a discount code. Denise. Denise in the house, y'all. Denise. Denise, Denise. Happy Thursday, girl. There was no auction because it was storming out. Freaking Mother Nature. Love her. But she can be a real you-know-what sometimes. You-know-what. Um, so we had, uh, thank you, uh, Summer. So we had, uh, we have a carport being built next week. I say carport. It's just like a huge lean-to to park the vehicles and other stuff under. And my husband, like, kind of roped it out where it's going to go. And, uh, I was like, I think that tree's dead. <laughs> Cause he was telling me how he looked all over the property. Where's the best place? What makes the most sense? And, uh, you know, what had the least amount of trees. I said, I think that tree's dead. <laughs> Yesterday I said it and he's like, shit. He's like, you're right. So it was a big tree, like a big tree. And it was right smack in the middle. So if it came down, it would have crushed, it would have crushed the, uh, the new lean to or whatever the heck it is. Um, you want some cookies? <laughs> I know. Um, so anyways, uh, it's raining and I hear that my husband went to go get dinner and it's raining and they, I get a text and he says, I'm home. And then I hear a chainsaw fire up like in 30 seconds. I'm like, what the hell? And I look out there and he used to be our neighbor. Anyway, Ron asked the neighbor kid yesterday or last night if he could come take, just drop the tree because it's all woods behind there. So all he had to do was drop it. And, uh, he's literally out there. Y'all, he could do his own, like, I, I don't even know what you could call him. He could do his own show. Um, hey, Meriden, how are you? Meriden, did I say that right? He's like redneck, redneck, redneck. He's barefoot, in the rain, with the chainsaw. I mean, this, this tree's got to be 100 feet tall. Maybe not 100, probably like 60. It's big. Dead as could be. It, it took him like seven minutes. And that tree hit, fell, and it's pretty far from my building. I could see him. But man, when that tree fell, it shook the whole the, the whole shit. I was like, holy crap. Barefoot. Y'all, you ever step on a holly leaf? My God, it hurts so bad. They are so sp spiny, and they're everywhere around here. He's out there barefoot, in the rain. Who was a chainsaw? Taking down a humongous tree. Okay. <laughs> Thank you, crazy man. I thought it was my husband at first. I'm like, what the heck are you doing? I thought you got dinner. Now you're cutting down the tree. Uh, 43 in the house. Ooh, that's cold. Tracy, I meant to message you. I got verification yesterday. They gave me the option to now go. Oh, awesome, Summer. Congratulations, girl. Y'all, Summer can go live on the YouTube now. I want to check out that YouTube lot go live together. I see that's an option. I have no idea what that means. I mean, I, I would assume it means you can go live with somebody like you and me. Uh, thank you, Carrie. Thank you, thank you. At least the tree. Yeah, the tree's down. It, yeah. It was so funny because my husband was like, oh, I didn't paint this. He's like, looked at the whole yard. There's no dead. I was like, that looks dead. <laughs> Funny. This brush is kind of big to be. I'm not going to worry about the inside or with y'all on live because that will just take way too freaking long. And you can only watch someone paint so long without being like, oh, good night. Uh, you should try a bit. I should try a bit. What? Uh, try, oh, try it. What? I missed something about a beer. What happened with a beer? Yeah, we should try it. We should try it. We should. Oh, oh, the paint on my shirt. No paint on my shirt. Uh, ever use Sweet Pickens transfers? They have some really. No, I, they um they carry redesigned by Prima. Uh, Jason, I used to deal. <laughs> I used to be a redesigned by Prima dealer until I upgraded to IOD. Uh, yeah, they're good. The only thing I can tell you that I don't like about redesigned by Prima's transfers is that. If you, you do one on a dark surface, they, they really have a halo around them. Probably about, not quite a quarter of an inch, but a little bit bigger than an eighth of an inch. But you can, you can really see the halo um, on something dark. Shonda! 
I hope you're feeling better, my sweet friend. I hate that. There's so many of you not feeling well and going through shit and all that. Just know that we are all here for you. I know none of us have ever met in person, but it is like we are a pink poop family. <laughs> Which sounds ridiculous, especially if somebody doesn't know, uh, has never been on here and is going to think I'm nuts. But just know that. I feel like creatives are late night owls and uh, they're always available. So I'm sure you could find somebody if you're in need to unleash, cry, bitch, whatever you got to do. Whatever you whatever you got to do. Uh, yes, prayers for Owen. Absolutely. Milk paint and cookies. <laughs> go around all. Yes. I'm going to I'm going to use up this paint that I have, so I am going to go I'm hoping I got just enough to make it down these two sides. And uh, I'll get to drying it and then you guys can see what's uh what's happening. I should have I should have should have filled in all these weird nooks they made in here with some putty. <laughs> I don't like those nooks. You haven't seen Ari? Uh, I don't think I've... Well, why would I see her today? I wasn't live. Uh, no, I haven't seen Ari today either. I think she had a doctor's appointment or something today. I don't know. I don't know. I really, really don't know. Oh, Yeah, I'm excited for this new pivot in my life. Ari was on last night. Um, what was last night? Last night was Wednesday. Oh, Ari was... Yeah. Oh, we were in class last night. <laughs> Duh. All right, I'm getting low, y'all. I'm getting low. Real low. Real low. So low. We're getting so low. Come on, I gotta, I'll, sque I'll squeeze it out. Squeeze enough out. Yeah. Get her done, Trace. Y'all, oh, I need the perfect amount. Well, if I was doing the whole thing, I'd certainly miss the mark on the perfect amount. But You can go over this again. And it will still crack. Don't be afraid of that. Um, like, you know, if it's not, it didn't give you enough coverage. Um, and, it, you know, it's cracking when you dry it. And you're afraid to go over it again. Because you're going to lose your crack. <laughs> um, don't be afraid of that. Because, oh, there's a hair in there. Because uh, it'll crack. It'll still crack. That's what I was afraid of at first. I was like, oh, the crack, the crackle's so pretty and the chippy. I don't want to lose that and go over it with another coat, but it's fine. I'm trying to get all these dark, dark spots. Just using up the rest of this. It just concerns me because I know her mom is in good health. Her, oh yeah, yeah, I know her mom has some health issues. Um, I talked, well, I, I did talk to her earlier. Um, so I don't know. I didn't tell her I was going on. She or she thought I was doing the. I don't know. She kind. Of, oh, did I do it again? <laughs> she kind of checks out sometimes, which I think we all should check out sometimes for a day. It's hard to do though. It's hard to do. All right, that's it. We're on empty. We're on empty. Mm, Jody B. Jody B's in the house, y'all. Welcome, Jody. Happy day. Happy day to you. Debbie! I didn't see Debbie on here either. Hey, Debbie. Hey, Debbie. Uh, Y'all, I'm so excited to be selling Fast Cast Resin. Well, I don't have it yet. But I ordered it today. I've been stalking it like a like a cheetah on prey. Like, like stalking it like five, ten times a day. Seeing if it's in stock. And lo and behold, today, I saw an email it was in stock. I was like, no way! Or pounced upon it. I was surprised. I got a couple new, um, the redesigned by Prima dryer sheet type decoupage papers coming. Uh, just three, I think. And, uh, you know, someone that checked out for quite a while. Uh, oh, yeah, we do? Who? Um, so I'm excited. I'm excited. But their shipping is so expensive. All right. Let me get something dry so I can hold it up. So let me get an end dry. That way I can hold it up and you can see. Well, I can hold it up like this. I don't, you can't really tell it's self-leveling on here, but I promise you that it is because you can really see my brush strokes and then, I mean, you still can, but you could really see them and then kind of 
levels itself out. Even though it has no, no bonding agents or anything in it. I don't know. Dryer sheet decoupage papers. Yeah, they're they're cool. They're like 19 by 30. No, not 19 by 30. They're they're big, bigger, but they're they feel like dryer sheets without the smell. Um, they take like a little more glue. They take it's almost like you need to put your your glue on whatever medium you use and like give it a minute to get like tacky because it never wants to stick. But once it absorbs the glue, it'll stay down. But whatever you do, don't put your parchment paper over and iron it because it comes the glue comes through. Next year, it's just a mess. Oh, oh my God, the crackle on this already. Look, uh, no work tomorrow. Good, and it's still wet. You see? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. That's beautiful, don't you know? Oh, it's not. It's still wet. Um, good for you, Debbie. No work tomorrow. Good for you. I'm going to the city, Debbie. I might even. Lord knows I do not need to. There's a very good possibility. I might make it to a TJ Maxx, a Marshalls, a Home Goods, a Big Lots, a Hobby Lobby. I just might. Because it's in the city. <laughs> Not often do city folk or country folk make it to the city. Cracks me up because I'm from the city. Well, not originally. I think I've come full circle. Born on the farm and here I am back on the farm. Yes, that's what milk paint does. This is what milk paint is known to do. Like I said, just if you ever use milk paint of any kind, just remember, if it's a porous surface, chances are it will not crack nor chip very, very much. But you can make it chip by adding a resist, wax. Um, you go, I got nowhere to put the stuff, Shonda. Like, if my shit has never been this bad. But I just need to, like, reorganize is what I need to do. Because I just have shit everywhere. Like, it's... Whoa, it's a lot. Um, <laughs> uh, so, uh, use a resist, a resist on... Like, if you... If this was totally shot... Or, this, if this was totally porous... Excuse me. I would paint it whatever color I wanted to paint it. Then I would put my resist on. And then I would put my milk paint on. If it's um, super, super shiny... You've got to sand it, scuff sand it. You've got, you have to, or it literally will all peel off. Um, or don't even bother sanding it and add some extra bond to it because milk paint doesn't have a bonding agent in it. So therefore it will just all peel off. Uh, you say you're going to town. Uh, you had to go in the city today. Did Hobby Lobby's Michael's in the, Ooh, Connie. Uh, yeah, Ron will go shopping with me. You're in Destin, watch granddaughter, and I have everything going to try and shop. Oh, good for you. <laughs> good for you. I want to go to Destin. I've seen pictures, and it's just, it's so beautiful. There we go. Are you meant to say hell? Look at that. I don't know if it's dry. It's dry. It's hot. It's hot. Um, oh, you meant to say hell. Oh, hell, go shopping. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I might. I'm good at it. I'm good at shopping. So good. So good. My girlfriend and I from kindergarten. Thank you, Terry. Um, I want to see if we get any of the black through. I didn't really pay attention. Oh, yeah, I see some of it. Um, we're still best friends to this day. And <laughs> she, her and I, when we get together, because uh, she lives in Connecticut, you have hell in Michigan. <laughs> um, we can literally go into like a TJ Maxx and not, I'm not even kidding, like stay there like five hours because we have to look at everything, like everything. And security will literally follow us around. I'm thinking to myself, why would you follow us around? Like there's two or three hundred dollars in my cart. There's a couple hundred bucks in her cart. We've been here for five, five hours. We're not going to, you know, steal anything at this point. Stupid. Doesn't has I know. And it's weird because in Florida, um, usually the more south you go, the prettier the water gets. Um, you know, in between all the, the, the little islands and all that stuff, the prettier it gets. But Destin is like, it's weird. It's like this beautiful water, but really, if you go above it or below it, it's not. So it's bizarre. You grew up there. Oh, it's big changes. Oh, since 1976. I can imagine. You can't even recognize or, um, my old place. 
um, Gulf Boulevard is, is the boulevard that runs the Gulf. And it's the same road, but it changes towns and cities and whatever. And there'll be these little itty bitty houses that have been there since the, you know, the beginning of time and uh, Emerald Coast. Um, hey, Mary, pink poop peeps in the house. Mary's in the house, y'all. Um, and that little dumpy house is, you know, a million dollar house, but it's surrounded by these high rises that it's just crazy. It's just crazy. Uh, beautiful white sand. Hell, Michigan's oh, it, oh, hell, Michigan's really a place. Oh, you're going on a cruise in June 12th. Good for you. Good for you. Did you see that cruise ship that went through that hurricane storm just in the middle of May? I was seeing footage on TikTok. At, at first, I thought it was a joke. But they drove right through like a tropical system that was like 70 to 90 mile an hour sustained winds. They told them to stay in their cabin. Well, then I guess floors one through four started flooding. Not to scare you. They were anything scary, but it's like, what? Why, why wouldn't they, why didn't they drive around it? Why drive right through it? That's stupid. Why, why would you do that? What is, uh, what the hell happened to Fort Myers Beach that the water is pretty, yeah, uh, so Fort Myers is gorgeous. Very expensive to live down there. Cape Coral, that's another thing. The farther south you go, the more expensive it is. That's why I was shocked. If we got, like, well, we wouldn't have that much land to get, but, but that lean-to in the porch, um, if we got that at our old house, I'm not even exaggerating. It would be three times as much. And it's only three hours south. It would have been three times as much price-wise. It's crazy. It's just crazy. Crazy, crazy. Oh, yeah. I got a little thicker because I started out uh, a little thicker because I had more paint. And I was a little more confident with my paint. So it's taking a little longer to dry. Is that the side we did? Oh, yeah. You can kind of see the black. I don't know if it was worth my efforts, uh, but we'll see. Um, I think I say that every time. Let's see what this looks like before I dry it. Before and after. Take a picture with your brain. <laughs> hey! Oh. Yeah, that would be scary, right? They got the whole ocean. It was like in between... Uh, probably like off the coast of North Carolina, like straight out. I don't, it didn't make any sense. You saw black? I'm impressed. Oh, it's, it's good crackle. It's good crackle. We usually vacay in Pensacola Beach, Seaside, Florida, Walton, Destin, Orange Beach, below the Emerald Coast. I, yeah, I've never been uh, to Destin, but it's on my bucket list. That's way in the panhandle. You're almost in Alabama. I mean, you're almost, you're almost in Alabama. Yeah, this is good stuff. And, and you'll never get two pieces the same, ever. I mean, never. You just won't. And you could see, I did not, that was not 50-50. And I really do think what colors you use makes, you know, some colors are going to need more water than others. I, I do believe the pigment play, pays a big, plays a big factor in how, how much liquid you need. So I would just start with, with less. And, uh, uh, the pink, the pink, you love that? Oh my goodness, Shana, there's so many places. Alabama's playground. Yeah. Clearwater Beach is one of the top beaches in the world. Or not the world, but the U.S. Um, but it's just so busy down there. And the, the water is so far. Like, you gotta, you know, after a day at the beach, the last thing you want to do is, you know, walk a mile to get off the beach and get to your car. You're dying. Uh, it's past your Connie, get some rest, my... Girl, you don't have to explain nothing to me. Sleep is way important, so you go get your sleep on. I hope you wake up feeling like a million bucks. Uh, you're looking at Dustin? Uh, yeah, you need to, Kelly. You need to. But, like I said, the farther you go south, the more beautiful it is, but the more expensive it is. It just keeps getting more and more and more expensive. But the, the beaches um, where that were closed, I was seven miles from them, um... It's just so commercialized now. And they'll build they'll build something new. They'll build these like I don't know what they're calling them. Um, where's that side? Um they're like I don't know, there's a name for them. They're like uh not like a hotel, but uh 
Nobody lives in them. They're, they're like condos, but they're all not timeshares, but they're, they're, they rent them all out is what they do. And, um, but they have everything you need. They have like restaurants and the pool and, uh, all kinds of stuff. So you can't, and, and people are paying, they're buying, before they even build them, people are buying them. It's like, it, it's just crazy. It's crazy. The money down there is just, it's sick. Uh, Dustin is much calmer. The West Coast is way more expensive. Yes, I agree with that too, Judy. You like the crackle box, <laughs> crackle box, Mary. I'll do the inside and the bottom. Um, I don't know what, probably the same crackle, I guess. It's pretty white, so I'm probably gonna have to tone it down, especially if we're gonna use like this gorgeous hunk of burn and love right here. Um, Destin's on your bucket list. I mean, it just doesn't look right because it's so white and not stock. That's old. It looks weird with the red in the middle too. Oh, but I just wanted you to see how the milk paint works. Um, like, but every experience is gonna be different. Now, in the end, when we're done with this, when it's dry, it's definitely going to be a price. Uh, cheaper. This is the time of year to go, though. Snap, crackle, and pop, boo. <laughs> Box. Um, May, I think May is the cheapest month to get anywhere on the West Coast. Luckily, that's our birthdays. That's usually when we vacation. This one didn't work out so well because we had to cut it short. But, uh, uh I've always lived in Florida and never been to death. you never been to death? Me either, Judy. I, I moved to... Florida in 1991. Never went back. I moved from Connecticut. Never looked back. Um, so when we're done with this, you can either... The beaches in Fort Lauderdale are huge. Good luck parking in anywhere in Fort Lauderdale. It's like 18 bucks a day to park somewhere. <laughs> oh, oh, it's far to the... I don't like that. Um, so when we're done, when it's dry, you can do several things. Milk, uh, Sweet Pickens sells their whole line of, they have like liquid oil, oils and, um, what are they called? Uh, different kinds of oils, dark oils, all different kinds, same, it's all the same, like we talked about last night, the waxes, the oils, the paste, it's all the same stuff, it's just in a different form, in a different packaging. Uh, you enjoy going in September. Well, that's a hurricane season, so that's where, um, it gets scary. I wasn't a New England girl, I wonder why your sense of humor, ah! You work in Connecticut. Jason, I was born and raised in Connecticut, my friend. I was born in New London, Connecticut at Lawrence Memorial Hospital. And I lived most of my life uh, in between Uncasville, Montville, and Waterford. You have a friend that lives in Destin. It's very, yeah, it's crowded. Uh, I say Tampa doesn't have much more room to build. Yeah, it's crazy. Spring Hills get, yeah. It, they're moving up this way. So, anyways, well, we're done with this. You can either so wet. You can either leave your chippy how it is. Um, Mohegan Sun, get out of here. I gotta, let me finish this and I gotta tell you something about that. That costs 20 bucks. Yeah, it's crazy. Um, I'm a spirit animal. You can leave, if it, it's really chipping like that thing, you can just put clear wax on it and keep putting clear wax on it to, to keep the, the chippy at bay. Oh, my paper's falling out. Um, or you could sand that off. I like that chippy look. You can take a dark darker wax and get into all those nicks and crannies which i'm probably going to do a brown with this just to grunge it up a little but it, that'll also seal it but you could also sand all of this before you put anything on it if you want to get that smooth you know not chippy dry kind of uh feel so i mean i feel like the crack the cracking paste does it has smaller cracks than this i feel like this but this is a true a true chippy cracking paint all on its own like it doesn't need anything to to do it um yeah so i um jason where mohegan sun is um i used to party it used to be fort shantuck uh park and that was like we all hung out and partied there and um but before i moved here that was one of the reasons i moved here because i just graduated high school um, the, the economy was complete shit. There was no jobs anywhere. And I was right out of high school. I was trying to become a nurse, an, uh, an LPN. I was trying to get to school, but it was a lottery drawing, so I couldn't get it. So I was like, all right, well, I'll get my 
CNA and home health aid, all that, you know, in the meantime. So I was traveling 45 minutes to Rocky Hill uh, to go to school. And I did that. And then they only took two people out of our class of like 45. And I don't know why they picked me because the one teacher hated my guts. I have no idea why. She just hated me. Um, but they picked me and one other lady to work temporarily at the Rocky Hill Veterans Home and Hospital. But it took me an hour and 20 minutes to get to work. Um, but I was making like almost 19, 18, 19 bucks an hour back in 1990. That's good money, especially for a kid right out of high school. Um, but then it was only temporary. And then, um, uh, oh, St. Augustine's beautiful too. I want to go to St. Augustine, the historical one, not the one down by like Captiva. Um, and, uh, so that, that job got let go. I was trying to get out of a bad relationship. My Nana was renting a room from a friend of ours. So I moved in there and my Nana lived here six months out of the year. And I was like, you know what? I got nothing going on here. Got to get away from this crazy guy. And, uh, I said, Nana, I moved to Florida with you. So I told my mom, my mom's like, well, I'm going too. <laughs> so we rented a big, we, we bought a U-Haul truck, put all our crap in there. And, uh, Wow, is that an adventure? Oh my goodness. And uh, yeah, never looked back. Never looked back. They said that over 100,000 people moved here to Florida. I, I, that's crazy. That's a small world. That's a small, small. New England's absolutely beautiful. I just, I, I can't stand the cold, gray. You know, when, it messes with your psyche. When you don't see sunshine and it's just gray for weeks. And I mean, I guess everybody would live in New England if it was spring there all the time because it, it, New England's absolutely gorgeous and the, and the farther you go Vermont Maine all of that it's it's just beautiful um yeah everybody's headed here things are so expensive all right so that's what we got and um I'll do the inside I guess I'll do the bottom too um I don't like them divot things I don't know what they took the time to do that have you used IOD brushes I don't think IOD has brushes. I don't think they have brushes. Um, you love New England. I don't. I don't. I don't think they have. I think they have everything but Chauncey. The brushes I have here are Wise Owl. Well, they're actually Klingon. Y'all, I've never had an expensive paintbrush ever in my life. And if it goes under seventy, um, if you do like dressers or stuff like that, I would invest in one because it's. It's a game changer. Like I only have, I have four of them, different sizes, but I never knew what a good paintbrush was. But the thing is, is it holds so much paint. You're not like constantly, you know, dipping and dipping. Like you can really like, you can paint. Um, you're in mass. Oh, you live in mass. That's awesome. Does anyone know how to get rid of a heart in the comments area? Well, I have no idea. Um, last time I was went to Massachusetts, I think I went to, um, where you ride the Alpine slides. Um, I can't think of the name of it. I can't think of the name of it. And the Big E, the fair they have every year. I have a lot of good memories. Um, I'm going to definitely, you can see the black, but if I didn't, you didn't know I put black on here, I don't think you'd tell. You could tell. Um, I don't think you could tell. Um, but yeah, I'm definitely going to darken this up. I've never sanded one. Maybe I'll sand it. Let me see what it looks like sanded. The Big E, your favorite time of the year. Yep, Riverside Six Flags. Yeah, that was. That's really all there is around there. <laughs> wow. Yeah, we used to go to the Big E every year. And one of my mother's, her last husband, um, he was like, he loved to gamble or whatever. But he was the kind of guy that had to. He had to have those giant stuffed animals, like those ridiculously huge stuffed animals. You went at the. The, the gaming part and we had um we had a toyota celica so it wasn't a very big car and i mean i can remember every year like being shoved in the back with like three of these giant <laughs> stuffed animals what do you do with them i mean they're just like it's, now i think of it it's hilarious they always did with, with the the you throw the the base or softball at the milk the milk thing but the Big E was always cool. I love, always loved the craft section. All right, hand sanding this is not really doing much. If you took a, um, 
a power sander to this, you could probably get a lot off, but that just kind of made it, actually made it nice and smooth. I'm not, oh, wow, what a difference. What a difference. Um, we live in Merritt Island by Cocoa Beach in Nassau. Gotta say goodnight. Goodnight, Beth. We're about done. Actually, we are done. We're just kind of running down memory lane. Sleep well, Beth. Body heals when it sleeps. So sleep well. Uh, that's where my grandma's from. I moved to Florida and somehow ended up here in Utah. Oh, yeah, that's quite the switch from Florida to Utah. Oh, my goodness. You forgot pink poops. Good night. Yes. <laughs> Good night, Beth. I hope you sleep well, my friend. Um, that did nothing but make it really smooth. I wonder how that affects our... I don't know. But, I don't know. But, don't use, like, a glass you're in love with because it, it does... It's really weird that it dries super hard in here and you have to kind of really scrub it out, but it's glass. Why doesn't it chip off? It doesn't make any sense. Because if I were to paint this on the outside of this glass, it would chip off. Weird. It's like the heavy body gel. It doesn't make any damn sense. Um, and I haven't used this yet. No, what's this? The top coat. Top goat. So you can get sample sizes. You don't have to buy the whole, sh the whole Monty. I haven't used this yet either. Apply. What the hell does that say? What does that say? I can't, I can't read that. Eight coats? I can't say eight. Eight coats. Oh, apply two to three coats over. Oh, over non-chippy milk paint. Huh? Apply two to three coats over non-chippy milk paint. Matte finish. Water cleanup. What do you mean? non-chippy. What the hell does that mean? I, I don't know. I've never used it. I don't know what... Makes no sense. Um, have you used the IOD brushes yet? I don't... I, IOD doesn't have brushes that I'm aware of. IOD... Like a paintbrush? Brushes? Like a paintbrush? I was just on their website. I just placed an order. I didn't, I didn't look in the accessories though, I don't think. Y'all, I still, I'm, I'm pissed. I still don't have a, um, a tracking order for the, the transfers. Mary didn't get hers either. They were supposed to, supposed to ship Tuesday. Uh, let me know what you're, what you mean, Chauncey, and then we'll part ways for the evening. <laughs> I'm hoping to be back on Sunday. Wait, what's today? Thursday. Yeah, you never know, but hope, hoping for Sunday on both platforms. But we'll try Facebook. Maybe I'll try Facebook first. We're going to end up on YouTube anyhow. Just waiting for Chauncey to... IOD brushes. They need to come out with... Well, they don't sell paint, so they wouldn't sell brushes. I'm confused. Just checked the IOD website and there was no results. For... Yeah, I don't think they... Uh, Chauncey, I think you might have it... You think it was like redesigned by Prima or something maybe? Because I don't... They don't sell brushes. They sell... um. Uh, good luck in the big city, right? Hopefully I'm not too tired. They sell like this kind of, this was, I think a flop in there. Cause as a, a stockist, uh, yeah, I'm going to wait till next Thursday for the auction. Unfortunately, I got it all in the box, ready to go. Everything's ready to go. Um, this was a flop. They made these so you can, um, like really spread out thick, thick paint and imprint stamps into it. If you wanted to, I saw a stockist. And Nevada got her transfers today. Did she? Who is it, Sandy? I'm going to stalk her. Maybe the mint, your Klingon brushes. The Klingon brushes are Wise Owl. I got those from Wise Owl. Uh, thank you, Summer. Have a great night as well, my friend. And we need to talk about uh, trying that go live together. But I think we'll have to turn our, we have to go. We're, I'm supposed to be landscape. That's coming, y'all. So I don't want to do it either. But we do a lot of things we don't want to. Well, Chauncey, let me know. You guys, thank you so much for coming over here, especially that you guys are new. I hope you had a good experience over here. Um, I hope you come back. And um, I really want to make this my number one platform. I really do. I love it. And it treats me right. And it's just, it feels good here. Um, oh, she got her. Oh, I, I think she, oh, she got her whole stock. Because some get stuff beforehand so they can make my stuff. So not me. Good night, Lori. Uh, Oh, thank you, uh, Kelly. Yeah, we'll have a good time. 
Uh, good night. Uh, all right, you guys, thank you so much. I'll see you all soon. Bye now. Bye, guys. <laughs>